I'm just jumping in here really quick because I wanted to mention that I'm having a Labor Day sale on all of my merch. It is starting today, Wednesday, August 31st, all the way until September 6th. I'm having 40% off my merch. You can use the discount code. I'm going to put it on here. It's just Labor Day. Put that in on the discount code when you guys check out and you get 40% off of the merch. So go check it out. I'll have all the links in the comments and in the description down below. And yeah, let's get on with the video. We are in the gym. It is bright and early. It is 7 a.m. and we are not working out today. We're coming to grab something and that is my running shoes. We are going to the track today and we are going to test my mile time. I am a little nervous, not going to lie, because I'm not very good at running. I have lost a lot of cardio since giving birth on top of that and it has been a goal of mine to just hit a 10 minute mile postpartum. I know a lot of people are like, that's easy to do. And for some people, yeah, that is easy to do. However, I'm not a very good runner and I don't know if I can reach it. I did do some running postpartum to get used to that on my pelvic floor. And I have been doing a little bit of like 200 meter runs in my workouts, but I haven't really tested my mile time. And like I said, it was a goal of mine to just hit a 10 minute mile to see if I can do it and then go from there. And I think that, you know, honestly, we're gonna do it, we're gonna try it. That is my goal for today is to hit that and kind of go from there. So let's go to the track. It is a gorgeous morning, although in the middle, I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see those guys? We got some geese that will be joining us. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they'll be cool with me running around. If you guys don't know geese, Canadian geese, uh, they're vicious, especially if they have young ones. They don't have young ones because they're leaving now, so they're grown up. So it should be okay. I'm hoping it'll be okay. They're just, uh, we call, like to call them like snakes, you know what I mean? Because they're just like, they hiss at you and they run after you. We're just hoping that they'll be fine, that I'm just running around them. They're right in the middle, so it shouldn't be too bad. Good morning. I got my running buddies who are just gonna support me from the side. Look how funny he looks. Just dangling there. You look miserable, buddy. I know. My goal is to, well, it's sunny. The sun has all the sun just peaked right out. My goal is to do a little bit of warm up. I'm gonna try and do this as like efficient as possible for time because Cove is very sleepy. I'm gonna warm up, see how it goes, and then just do it. It's four laps. You yep. can be my timekeeper. And I'm nervous because I'm not a very good runner and I haven't ran consistently. That's the one thing that I haven't done in a long time. I was doing running laps where I was running for like two minutes on, one minute off, three minutes on, three minutes off, or three minutes on, one minute off, like kind of like that or I would do like in a workout 200 meter run back, do some stuff, but it hasn't been like a consistent, like for 10 minutes straight running. So we're gonna see how it goes. I'm hoping it goes good. I'm like rambling now cause I'm nervous. I'm just really not a great runner. Although running was one of the first things that I did when I first started working out and I kind of fell in love with the challenge of it. And I don't know, like I kind of fell away from it and now we're doing CrossFit and point of me running and wanting to get a better mile time and just testing my speed, I guess you can say, is so that I know that if I keep working out and getting better at running, it will increase my endurance. So when it comes to doing my CrossFit workouts, it's gonna help me in that aspect. And that is pretty important to me. So if I can increase my endurance through running, then it will help me when it comes to my endurance during CrossFit workouts. I managed to make the geese go away because they were they had like migrated to the back end of the track and they were not looking too thrilled that I was getting close to them. So they have thankfully left. Now I have the track to myself and now it's time to 
test it. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. He looks so enthusiastic. Three, two, one, go. About 243. That was your fastest lap. 1029. You know yeah. what? That was close to my goal. I'm not upset, honestly. That was my first run, mm -hmm. full run, postpartum without any breaks. So yeah. for 10 minutes, I think I did okay. Pushed it on the last one. I know I couldn't have given it more, which was good. And I feel like I could have pushed it a little bit more the second lap, maybe. But I was just worried that if I pushed it too early, I was gonna red line too early so that I wouldn't be able to finish like keep the, up the keep same up pace. My, yeah, exactly. But I actually did pretty good. So my pace was about 240, yeah. give or take. My last one was the fastest one, but obviously I took what was left and used it to go as fast as possible. I'm not mad, honestly. Like, yes, I wish I would have gotten it under 10 minutes, but it's, I'm a, goal. Glad I, it's a goal. And I know that I'm, I pretty much was so close to my goal. Is it a great endurance goal? No, like I know people can run a mile much faster and these shoes also suck. There's like no, mm. nothing to them anymore. They're super old. So I do need to get a new pair of those if I'm going to keep running. But nonetheless, I'm happy with it. I'm not upset. I know that that is my starting point <laughs> and that I can definitely get better from there, I think. I don't know. It was good for someone like like me anyways. I know I'm not the best runner, but I know I'm not like that bad. I think the first time I tried a mile, it was like 1130. Yeah. So for me to hit postpartum, I think that's pretty good. I'm I think happy. so. I'm happy with myself. Like I know a lot of people are probably, I, I keep saying people are judging me. If you're judging me, you're judging me. I don't care. Like I said, running's not my forte, but... You ran, though. I ran. I, I, I'm able to run, so I'm grateful that I'm able to run. I might not be the best runner, which is okay. I'm fine with that. My grandmother might not agree. She licked run really good, but I did yep. good nonetheless, and I'm happy. It's better than people just being on the couch. Exactly. At least you got off the couch and ran. I got off the couch, ran. and I went for a goal. And I'm glad I hit it, honestly, mm -hmm. because it was kind of weighing on me and I really wanted to make sure that I was going to get it and it's kind of the end of the year and I've been kind of pushing it off because I was like, oh, it's too hot. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I'm in good enough shape. Just got to do it sometimes. That's next exactly year, it. we'll do one in the spring and one in the fall. Yes, next year we'll have to definitely test it. Somehow I need to figure out how to run in the winter because we don't have a treadmill and neither does the gym that we go to. However, maybe I'll have to sign up to the gym that's close to, like a well, well gym that's close to us just so I can run because mm. they have an air runner. We'll see. Anyways, I'm glad that I did this and if you're hesitant to reach a goal or run or anything like that, just do it. I know it's not easy sometimes and it's scary. Like I said, I really was not looking forward to doing this because I was scared I was going to fail. and. I did pretty good. I had some doubts during it, but you know what? No, I'm happy and I know that I can go from here. Like I can get better. So I just gotta keep that in mind, keep going. And I know that if I keep running like this and keep working on it, then it's just gonna make me so much stronger when it comes to working out in CrossFit. Just finished our cool down. We just did like a walk around the lap. And that being said, honestly, like, we're gonna start a series on here on just trying to get better at CrossFit. CrossFit's really hard in so many different ways for each and every one of us. And for me personally, I really suck at a lot of endurance stuff and gymnastics stuff. So those are two of my major goals when it comes to CrossFit. Weightlifting, it, it comes easier to me. However, I'm still building up my weight from giving birth and carrying a child for nine months. So we're gonna work on that. We're gonna get better at CrossFit. I want you guys to join me and join on getting better at CrossFit journey if you can. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you're good at running or if you suck at running, let me know. I would love to hear back. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down Go inside like winter leaves that slowly leave the ground
Love me like you used to, so we can learn again. The skin is getting round me. 